Rhodonite. It's that striking pink mineral you might spot in jewellery stores or rock and mineral collections. But believe me, there's way more to it than just good looks. Today, I'm diving into the geochemistry of rhodonite. And trust me, it's cooler than it sounds. First up, what exactly is rhodonite? Chemically, it's a manganese inosilicate, with the chemical formula MNFEMGCASIO3, and a shorthand version of that chemical formula is MNSIO3. That means it's made up of manganese, silicon, and oxygen, all locked together in a neat little chain silicate structure. Sometimes, you'll see bits of iron, magnesium, or calcium that seeped or intruded in its crystal structure during its formation to replace some manganese, which can tweak its color and properties just a bit. So, why is rhodonite so famously pink? The answer is manganese. Manganese ions give rhodonite that famous rose or bubblegum hue. The more manganese, the deeper the pink. Sometimes you'll see black streaks or veins running through the mineral. That's manganese dioxide, which forms when the rhodonite gets a little oxidized or weathered. Let's talk formation. Rhodonite is formed in manganese-rich metamorphic rocks and scarn deposits often associated with other manganese mineral deposits. And it can be found in other manganese-rich environments, such as where hydrothermal fluids or where metamorphic processes have altered the existing rocks. Rhodonite can be formed through contact or regional metamorphism. When rocks loaded with manganese get squeezed and heated deep in Earth's crust, think intense pressure, temperatures soaring past 400 degrees Celsius. Rhodonite forms as part of the mineral geochemical recipe. It's not just found anywhere, though. You'll need places where the right chemistry lines up. Think deposits in Australia, Sweden, Russia, and even the United States, especially in New Jersey. Geochemically, rhodonite is pretty stable under those high-pressure, high-temperature conditions. But bring it up closer to the Earth's surface and things change. Exposure to air and water can oxidize some of that manganese, turning parts of the mineral black or brown as manganese dioxide forms. That's why you'll often see rhodonite with dark veins. It's literally weathering right before your eyes. Here's a quick fun fact. Rhodonite isn't just pretty, it tells geologists a lot about Earth's past. When they find it in ancient rocks, it's a clue that those rocks were once packed with manganese and went through serious geological events, like tectonic collisions or volcanic activity. So, spotting rhodonite can help geoscientists piece together stories from millions of years ago. Now, let's zoom in on the chemistry behind those silicate chains. Rhodonite belongs to the pyroxenoid group, which means its silicon and oxygen atoms are linked up in zigzagging chains, not isolated tetrahedra. This unique atomic arrangement is what gives the mineral its signature cleavage, basically, the way it breaks, and those glassy, nearly translucent crystals that collectors love. The crystal habit of rhodonite is that it belongs to the triclinic crystal system. This means its crystals have three axes of unequal length that intersects at oblique angles. It forms in granular masses or cleavable masses, but it can also occur as rare, thick, tabular crystals. These crystals are often rough with rounded edges. Rhodonite can also occur as twinned crystals with lamella twinning being common. A quick word on uses. Sure, it's a gorgeous gemstone, but rhodonite has also been used as an ore of manganese especially before we figured out how to mine purer stuff. Manganese is crucial for making steel. So in a way, every time you see a skyscraper, you could thank minerals like rhodonite for helping build the modern world. So, the next time you spot that hot pink mineral, remember, rhodonite isn't just eye candy. It's a tiny geochemical record of Earth's wildest moments, packed with stories, chemistry, and a splash of color that's been billions of years in the making. Thanks for hanging out with me for this quick dive into the geochemistry of rhodonite. Don't forget to subscribe to the Soil Mineralogist channel for more geoscience explanations and explorations. In the next episode, we will discuss the geochemistry behind the mineral crystal called rhodochrosite, so stay tuned in.